I am Dr. Sharjeel and you are watching my YouTube channel. Now I am presenting uh, this uh, case um, as a challenging case 34 and most of the viewers uh, correctly diagnosed it. Um, this 20 years old male patient presented uh, to me with watering, redness, uh, pain, um, mild decrease of vision and photophobia in the right eye for the last few days on examination. Uh, there is a white raised lesion near inferior limbus at 6 o'clock and conjunctivitis more diffuse around the lesion but there is diffuse conjunctivitis as well. So on the history and examination I diagnosed him as a case of flectanular keratoconjunctivitis. Now it's a common condition and we all should be able to diagnose it correctly and manage it properly. It is a nodular inflammation of the cornea or conjunctiva. Most commonly conjunctiva is involved that results from a hypersensitivity reaction to a foreign antigen. Now what type of foreign antigen causes flectanular conjunctivitis? Well in a developed uh, country mostly microbial proteins of staphylococcus aureus results in flectanular keratoconjunctivitis and in poor countries where the tb is endemic hypersensitivity reaction to tuberculin protein uh, causes uh, this histologically you will find langerhans cells monocytes helper t cells um, in flectanular nodule uh, which confirms that it is a delayed cell mediated uh, hypersensitivity reaction now signs and symptoms are mild to moderate in conjunctival flectanular uh, disease whereas moderate to severe in corneal flectanular Especially pain and photophobia are more marked in flectin in corneal disease. But now these raised white nodules are also called flectinules and more common anywhere near the limbus. They are present as gelatinous white yellow raised lesions with marked injection around it. Now you have to rule out tuberculosis, chlamydia. Uh, and you have to perform chest x-ray, mantos, T-spot, TB, quantiferon, gold, sputum serology and if uh, the patient gets uh, positive results then systemic disease is treated. Now main differentials are rosacea, keratitis, marginal keratitis, nodular episcleritis, um, VKC. Now, it is an inflammatory disease, so definitely anti-inflammatory drugs are given. Mainstay of the treatment is topical steroids, but in steroid responders or steroid resistant cases, we can give immune modulators like cyclosporine A drops. Uh, artificial tears can also be added, uh, treating the associated systemic condition uh, like rosacea, blepharitis, tuberculosis, trachoma is also important and uh, the condition dramatically improves uh, within days you can clearly see here uh, <clears throat> uh, an oval uh, looking uh, whitish raised lesion uh, near uh, in between six and seven o'clock uh, and you can see that it is pointed towards the cornea so cornea is also getting involved uh, so it is called flectanular keratoconjunctivitis. I hope after watching this video you will be able to not only diagnose it but also knows its pathophysiology and management. Thank you very much.